I am Matthew Winkelstein on Ask the Expert with Jim DeSellum. Today, Jim and I are going to discuss how to turn your wasted sludge into a revenue stream. Jim, before we get into that, why don't you tell us a little bit about your history? My history. I've been with B&W for 30 plus years. I got involved in the solution, which is fluid beds, in the mid-90s, uh, doing engineering startups. And around 2005, on during, a, during a startup, I was invited into our technology group to be the director of all of our R&D efforts, which had primarily been with the waste fuels, and to further our enhancements and our technology. Excellent. I would say that definitely makes you an expert, and uh, welcome to the segment. Thank you. So now do we get into a little bit more of the details of how do I turn my waste into a revenue stream? The simplest way is to turn it into steam and electricity. These are both commodities that are needed in a plant, in a facility. So if we can take something that is discarded and that you're paying to discard and turn it into energy in a form that you use daily, that's a win-win. That's a plus-plus. Absolutely. Do, have other customers done that before and what industries currently do that now? The leading industry that had done that would be the pulp and paper. Huge amounts of sludge having to be landfilled, ponded. And so they probably led this effort and uh, the fluid bed. So we've got many years and many units and, and it's the, all that experience of how to process their sludges and turn that back into the steam and electricity they use in their processes. What about other industries? Uh, for instance, a meatpacking plant. Very interesting one. That has just been a recent uh, development where the paunch, which is a byproduct, a waste byproduct of meat processing that is currently being landfilled, has come to light as needing, as being an, an expense, a very big expense being a biohazard. So we took a look at the chemical analysis of that and compared that with our extensive database and found out that that waste stream is very similar in nature to an agricultural waste, which there is experience of burning that in a fluid bed. So this fuel has, definitely has potential to being a fluid bed fuel and be, and from going from a cost to a net asset on producing steam and electricity with it. What would be, else would be beneficial by having a fluidized bed? And what if I don't currently have a fluidized bed, but I have a waste stream that I need to take care of? The benefit is a fuel flexibility. It's a very flexible technology. It allows your fuels and your consistencies and different sources of fuels to be available. If you don't have a fluid bed, there are definitely many options beyond just the normal new build, green field approach. The fluid bed technology is easily retrofitable to not only a B&W boiler, but our competitors' boilers, and in many different styles. Half our fleet are retrofits to competitors' boilers that are out there today hmm. that are running very well. So this opens up options that if you have a boiler, an asset, we can evaluate and see if it can be easily retrofitable for a fluid bed. The other option that we've worked with many owners that don't have an asset is that they actually purchase a used asset, the building, the environmental equipment, and all the accessories, they'll move that to their facility, and then while it's there, we will refurbish the boiler, add a fluid bed, refurbish the environmental equipment, and they basically have a brand new facility at used price costs, wow. definitely improves the ROI. That's that's incredible, and we've done that in the past? At several locations. Wow, that's excellent. So it sounds like right now, if, if I'm at an industrial facility and I'm wondering what do I do with this waste and sludge, um, what's the right step? Contact B&W. Reach out to your salesman, your field service, or reach us out to us on the computer, babcock.com, and start with us, and let us start with your fuels. We have thousands of biomass fuels in our database, and chances are we can match your fuel and be able to tell you what your options are. Well, Jim, I appreciate it. I know I've enjoyed the time here, and I appreciate you enlightening our customers about fluidized bed boilers. Thanks for being the expert. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. So if you're watching this video and you have a question for one of our experts, please email askthexpert at babcock.com.